mass logger numerical analysis interpolation lagrange interpolation formula youtube channel mass logger provide you easy mathematics techniques or self number email address my name is saeed ahmed shah i am professor and quiz nafsha bismillah rahman rahim topics unequal length of interval lagrange interpolation formula matlab unequal length of interval unequal length of interval if the difference between values of independent variable in the table is not same then it is unequal length of interval we have information in the form of a table the difference between the independent variable x x1 minus x0 and x2 minus x0 is not same if the difference from first to last is same say equal length if the difference between two values any two values is changed then this is called the unequal length of interval when we have an equal length of interval solution by lagrange interpolation formula lagrange interpolation formula derive lagrange interpolation formula let y is equal to f of x be such that x takes n plus 1 values say x0 x1 x2 up to xn minus 1 and xn which are not equally spaced and that are corresponding values be f of x0 f of x1 f of x2 up to f of xn minus 1 f of xn let p n of x be a polynomial in x or degree n and is taking in the form p n of x is equal to a not x minus x1 x minus x2 x minus x3 dot 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 x minus xn plus a1 x minus x0 x minus x2 x minus x3 dot 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 x minus xn plus a2 x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x3 dot 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 x minus xn plus dot 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 plus an x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 dot 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 x minus xn minus 1 say equation number a put x is equal to x not in a we get because this point lying on the polynomial degree n must satisfy the equation a p n of x not a not x not minus x1 x not minus x2 x not minus x3 dot 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 x not minus xn placing here x not it becomes 0 0 multiplied by a1 means 0. Placing here x0, it will become 0. 0 multiplied by a2 means 0. Similarly, dots or similarly placing here x0, it means this term will be 0. So, all term will be 0 except this value. This term. We want to get the value of a0. So, crossing this value or p and writing in the form of f. So, we can say a0 is equal to p and writing in f x naught which is the same or uh, this is the denominator x naught minus x1 x naught minus x2 x naught minus x3 dot 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 x naught minus xn again putting x is equal to x1 in a when we are putting here x1 it means x1 minus x1 0 a naught will be 0 Placing here x1 minus x0, x1 minus x2, x1 minus x3, x1 minus xn. Similarly, x1 minus x0, x1 minus xn, this term will become 0. Similarly, placing here x1 minus x0, x1 minus x1, it means 0, this term will be 0. So we have a result pn of x1, this is equal to a1, x1 minus x0, x1 minus x2, x1 minus x3, dot dot dot, x1 minus xn. Crossing it. So we can get the value of a1, convert pn in the form of af, say pn is equal to say f, f of x1, the pn of x1 can be written as f of x1, cross this value, x1 minus x0, x1 minus x2, x1 minus x3, dot dot dot, x1 minus xn. Similarly, this process continue, putting x is equal to x2, putting x is equal to x3, so we can get the values a2, a3, or in the last we are putting x is equal to n in a we get pn of xn is equal to an x 
n minus x naught, x n minus x one, x n minus x two, dot 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 x n minus x n minus one. To want to calculate the value of n, cross this or writing p n of x is equal to f of x n. So we can say a n is equal to f of x n, x n minus x naught, x n minus x one, x n minus x two, x n minus x n minus one. Substituting these values, values of a naught, a one, a two up to a n. In equation number a, we have the form f of x is equal to x minus x one, x minus x two, x minus x three, dot 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 x minus x n, divided by x naught minus x one, x naught minus x two, x naught minus x three, dot 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 x naught minus x n, f of x naught. Similarly, these terms. This is called the long-range interpolation formula. Question: Calculate f of zero point three. Here we have informations, five informations in the form of a table. X is equal to zero, one, three, four, seven. F of x is equal to, yani y is equal to f of x means one, three, forty-nine, one twenty-nine, eight hundred thirteen. Check the length of the interval from the values of the independent variable x. One minus zero means one. Three minus one means two. Change it means unequal length of interval. So we are marking this say x naught, this say x one, this say x two, this say x three. X four, f of x naught, f of x one, f of x two, f of x three, f of x four. We will have to apply the long-range interpolation formula because it is the problem of the unequal length of interval. Write the long-range interpolation formula after marking, substituting the values of x naught, x one, x two, x three, x four, f of x naught, f of x one, f of x n. f of x n means last value will be f of x four in the formula. So we are writing the formula up to f of x four and substituting the values of missing data is zero point three. The x will be zero point three. X one placing one, x two placing three, x three four or x four seven corresponding values f of x naught, f of x one, f of x two, f of x three or f of x four. So after writing the formulas, we formula we are substituting these values in the formula. Then simplifying it after substituting these values, then we have a result 1.831. This is called the missing data, which is lying in the given values in the form of a table. So how can we check this result is true or false? 0.3 The question is given here. Zero and one. The value zero f of x is one, and the value at one is three. Zero point three lying between these two values must be larger one or less than three. Let's see. One point eight three one. This is the larger one or less than three. This is called the required answer. This answer is correct. and of the lecture now come here the matlab how can we write the matlab commands for calculating uh missing data so matlab commands we have two commands one is the polyfill having three parameters x y n or second command polyval having two parameters function ya polynomial Or uh, calculating value x naught, we are writing in the larger brackets. Large brackets. The information which are given in the form of a table may be equal, may be unequal, but the technique is the same. So we are writing CLC command in MATLAB command window. X is equal to one, three, five, ten, fourteen. Writing the values of x in the form of the array. Similarly, y we are writing the value of y in the form of the array in MATLAB. Twelve gap, twenty-three gap, forty-five gap, seventy-eight gap. Uh, yeah, blank space, ninety-two. Polyfill command. So we have a one, two, three, four, five, five information. So we can fill the five minus one, four degree polynomial. So n is equal to. So we are using this formula here. X, y, and n means number of the Uh, polynomial degree n is the polynomial degree. 
so here the we can fit the polynomial degree 4 placing 4 let's see in the MATLAB how can we write uh, these command in MATLAB command window here is a command window we are writing x we are writing y applying the polyhedra x comma y comma 4 so we can fit the polynomial degree 4 constant x x square x cube x power 4 so we can write 0 0.0191 x power 4 minus 0 0.5857 x power 3 plus 5.5382 x square minus 9.8025 x plus 16.8310 Again, we are taking a table, information in the form of a table, we want to calculate the missing data, 3.2, equal to what? So, we are writing again, x values in MATLAB, in array form, y values, in array form, poly effect command, we can fit the polynomial degree 4, because we have a 5 information, 5 minus 1 is 4 degree polynomial, storing in f. So we can write polyval f missing data 3.2. How can we apply in MATLAB? Writing x values, writing y values, polyfit storing in f. Polyval command f at the particular value 3.2. So we have a result 24.9842. Check your answer at the value 3.2 is 24.9842. 3.2 which is lying in the 3 of 5 must be value greater than 23 but less than 45 check this value is 24.9842 must be greater than 23 but less than 45 again taking the problem we want to calculate more than one value 2, 6, 12 writing the same procedure for writing the code x, y, poly effect is storing in f, poly well f we are writing missing data 2 blank space 6 blank space 12 or uh, close the large bracket writing in MATLAB in command window we are writing the code in command window x y poly effect say f poly well 2 6 12 the, the value missing at the 2 is 14.9985 at 6 35.6390 812 80.8385 Another question writing the values x y in MATLAB CLC for clear screen store the poly effect in P yeah, say F writing the value x2 from starting 1 to 6 gap is 0 0.16 y2 poly well and we are writing the poly well polynomial degree 4 so we can say p for the values of the x2 which are moving 1 to 6 having the length 0 0.1 plot x y not x2 y2 grid writing this code in MATLAB this is the fitting the polynomial 4 degree or this is x2 y2 plot commands Let's see the graph. Here it is a continuous curve. So we have a, in curve this not showing the these points. So one five. This point is one five. One five point five. Two. Forty degree. This height is forty degree. Below the hundred. Three. One twenty eight. Let's see. One twenty eight. 4 290.7 290.7 near to the 300 5 498.4 498.4 and near to the 500 6 978 let's see near to the thousand and of the lecture